In the last videos, we have already discussed about the WS structure and how to convert them from active into passive. In this video, we will discuss about the imperative structure. First of all, what is the imperative structure? The imperative structure is used to give an order, give a command, make a request, give some suggestion, to prohibit something that is prohibition, to give warning and to give an advice. We all know that imperative can be of two types, general imperative and suggestive imperative. General imperative have these things. First of all, subject is omitted, but it is understood. For example, open the door. Here we all know that the subject is you. It is understood and the door is the object. Then it begins with do, don't, please, be, main verb and never, always plus verb one. For example, never tell a lie or always obey your parents. Then it may be positive or negative as it is also begins with don't. So negative structure is also possible. Then the suggestive imperative, it begins with let, like let us go to picnic. It is followed by an object pronoun or noun. It may be positive or negative. Now we will learn how to form a sentence using general imperative. We know that in general imperative, a sentence begins with these words. First of all, we will look at an example having do in the beginning do your work next don't in the beginning don't play with fire please in the beginning please give me a glass of water then with be in the beginning be patient with main verb in the beginning open the door with never plus verb one in the beginning never disobey your parents with always plus verb one in the beginning always obey your parents so these are some examples of general imperative sentences having this structure let's discuss briefly about general imperative and how to convert them from active into passive so now let us discuss about the general imperative transitively that is having an object first stop affirmative structure uh, first example, open the door. This is in the active voice. To convert it into passive, the rule or the structure is let plus object plus be plus verb 3 plus remaining part, if any. Here in this sentence, open the door. The door is the object. So, we will first write let, then the object that is the door. Let the door be opened, uh, the verb 3 form of open, that is opened, let the door be opened. Now the sentence is passivized. Second sentence, lock the door. In the passive structure, first we will write let, then the object, that is the door. Let the door be locked, verb 3 form of lock, let the door be locked. Then third sentence. Learn the song. Here learn is the main verb and the song. The song is the object. So when we passivize this sentence, we'll write let first, then the object that is the song, B, and then the uh, verb 3 form of learn that is learnt. Let the song be learnt is the passive voice of this sentence. Then the fourth sentence, give me a glass of water. Here, give is the main verb and a glass of water is the object. In the passive voice, it will be let a glass of water be given to me. Let a glass of water is the object here and be the verb 3 form of give that is given to me. This is the remaining part. In this fourth example, there are two objects, a glass of water and me. A glass of water being the direct object and me being the indirect object. So this sentence can be passivized in two ways. First, 
let a glass of water be given to me let uh, a glass of water here is the direct object be given the verb three form to me and then using me that is the indirect object let i be given a glass of water i object let uh, object is used after let so let i be given the verb three form of uh, give a glass of water now let us discuss the transitive structure where the sentence starts with please example please give me a glass of water here we see the sentence starts with please and uh, there are two objects in the sentence me being the indirect object a glass of water being the direct object and give here is the main verb so there can be two types of passive form type 1 is uh, the structure is let plus direct object plus be plus kindly plus verb 3 plus 2 plus the indirect object plus remaining part if any uh, so let's specify this sentence into type 1 first let a glass of water that is direct object in this sentence let a glass of water be kindly given the verb 3 form of give to me that is indirect object the me and type 2 is you are requested plus 2 plus the whole sentence we will write the whole sentence except please because we have already written you are requested at the beginning let's specify the sentence into type 2 now you are requested to then the whole sentence give me a glass of water except please so you are requested to give me a glass of water so if the sentence the imperative sentence starts with please then and there are two objects the passive can be in two ways we can either use the let plus direct object structure or you are requested structure both the structures are acceptable so these all sentences have an object and have please in them try to passivize this sentence using the rules we have discussed earlier so this is a task a task for you and in the next video we will discuss about the negative structure and intransitive structures that is the sentences that do not have an object and how to pacify them thank you